Hi there folks, Terry Austin here, and I'm going to take just a few minutes to introduce you to Complete Anatomy 2018 by 3D for Medical. I've been piloting Complete Anatomy with my AMP classes for a while now, and I'd like to share how I use it so you can get an idea of how this app works. Let's begin our tour with how I might show a difficult to find anatomical structure to my class. Obviously we've got a heart here. I can grab that, I can turn it, I can pinch to zoom in. I can zoom back out. I'm going to touch or click to select the anterior portion of that left ventricle. From the menu here on the side, I'm going to choose Hide. We've now opened up that left ventricle. I'm going to turn this. And what I want to find is the aortic semilunar valve. It's notoriously difficult to spot. It's in the very top of the left atrium. And as we zoom in there, we've got a great look at the one, two, three flaps of the aortic semilunar valve. The view just doesn't get any better than that and it's quite hard to find with a standard anatomical plastic model. Instructors will almost always have a list of anatomical structures for students to learn. I've got a short list here of a few things to find. I'm going to open my search window and type in sartorius and we actually have the ability to click that and find the sartorius right there. While I'm here, I can even open up my tool bin and put a label on that muscle that I just found. Another one I was supposed to find, rectus femoris. Let's find that. The rectus femoris appears to be that muscle right there. So I'm going to, while I've got that handy, go ahead and label that one as well. And my student's well on his way to building a nice study page. I've zoomed out to show you a few more things with these labels. We can toggle a label open and learn a lot more about the structure. For instance, this muscle is going to list the origin, insertion, action, nerve supply, and arterial supply. Much more with that nerve and arterial supply in just a little bit. There's some really cool stuff coming. Let me put these labels away. And next I want to open my tool bin again and grab the cut tool. Now with the cut tool, I can cut either single layer or multiple layers. I'm going to go for multiple layers, and I'm going to make a slice across the thigh. As I turn loose, I can either cut below that slice or above it. I want to cut above that slice, and then I'm going to stop cutting. Otherwise, you'll keep making multiple cuts. I'm going to tilt this leg and zoom in. And now I can look at any individual muscle I want and see the name of that. I can even click over here on the speaker and get a pronunciation. Rectus femoris. Now that I have a dissection, I'm going to do something even more dramatic. I'm actually going to add things back after the cut. I'm going to open up the arterial system, and I'm going to click once, twice, three times. There's even more if I wanted to click those, uh, and add in arteries that supply these muscles. I can even come in and add veins. And if I come back in and zoom one more time and select a particular structure, like that artery right there, that's the femoral artery down here. That happens to be the great saphenous vein. I think I'll add in the nerves that supply this area. And we get a pretty dramatic looking uh, dissection plus addition. And if I really like this, I can even select save screen so I can show this same dissection to another class. I can type in thigh. Notice that it's already selected for lower limb. I save that, and I can open up that very same screen to show my students another time. Let me show you just a little bit of navigation. We find ourselves here on a screen familiar to anybody who's ever opened up Complete Anatomy for the first time. We have our full anatomical view of a skeleton. And I'm just going to click on the skull on one particular bone, and that will uh, select an item. Uh, across the top here, we see what is referred to as the breadcrumb trail. I'm going to click on a part of that trail and select bones of the head and neck. As I zoom out, you can see I've got all that selected. And over here in the menu, I've got several options. I can isolate, hide, fade, hide others, fade others, or multiple select. I'm going to do hide others. And we're now looking just at bones of the head and neck. And here's one very important feature for me 
as an instructor, I can select a single item and I've got a nice highlight. Now it does tell me a lot of information about that bone and do yourself a favor, click on parts and surfaces and play with that. But what I want to show you here is how I select this image to make a custom question that I could include either in mastering or in one of my exams. I need a screen grabbing tool, something like Snagit. There are plenty of others that are free. I'm simply going to select this part of the image and because there's already a great highlight there, I don't even have to add an arrow if I don't want to. I can simply drag that picture off onto my screen and save that to use as I build a custom question. That has been your tour of Complete Anatomy. Have fun and enjoy.